Greetings everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can print directly from your printer while in your browser. So most of times when we are working on our browser and we want to print something to our local printer, we always get a dialogue that we have to deal with every time we want to print something. So today we are going to see how we can print directly in case of where we are we are, we are printing a lot of uh, prints in a day. It will be very hard for us to always deal with the print dialog every time on the browser. So we're going to see how we can print directly to a local printer without having to deal with that dialog every time. So as you can see here, I've created the one folder here on my desktop. I call it direct print, and I'm going to open that in VS code here. And as you can see now in this VS code uh, uh, document that I have created here, or the HTML document that I've created here, it's very short. I've just included the bootstrap uh, CSS and jQuery. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open that in live server. And as you can see now, I have that document already running on my browser. And this is the document itself. So the next thing that we need to do is to get the extension and plugin that's going to help us deal with the direct printing. All right, so I'm going to go to liter.com just go ahead and log into liter.com. And what you need to do here is either to get the trial period, that's the 15 days trial period, or you need to subscribe to one of the plans that I've, that they've got. I've already subscribed to the least expensive one or the cheapest one, which is $5 a month or $4.61 a month if you if you've paid the annual subscription and downloaded already the plugins, uh, the plugin itself here. I am running Windows, so you can go ahead and download one for your machine. If you're running Windows, go ahead and download that. If you're on Mac, then there's the Mac version of the same. And if you own Linux, then you go ahead and get the one for Linux. I've already downloaded that and I am already uh, running that on my computer. As you can see here, I already have this. I downloaded, registered, and then logged into the desktop. And as you can see, mine is running uh, on my computer now. All right, so what you need is to download that and also to download the uh, extension. As you can see now, here yeah, the Chrome extension is not already available on the on the Chrome Web Store, but we get an option here to download the package and install that locally onto our machine. So that's what I'm going to do. If you own Firefox, then the extension is already available, and you can get it from the store and also, you can get the package itself. On the edge, the extension is not readily available for now, but you can just go ahead and download the uh, extension package here and install locally on your machine or on your browser. All right, so I'm going to get the package for Chrome. As you can see now, I've already downloaded the extension for Chrome. And this is what I'm, I'm going to be using, all right? So here I already have the extension for Chrome. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this to the folder that we already have on the desktop. So here I'm going to paste that Chrome extension package that we downloaded from the browser here. All right, so it's all I've already uh, copied it here and what I have to do now is to go ahead and extract that so that I can install it on my browser. So I'm going to extract that to 
uh, Chrome. All right, and then what I I'm going to do, I'm going to get just get the path of where this is downloaded, and then I'll go back to the Chrome here. I'll go to the extensions here, and then manage extensions, and I'm going to just bring in the extension that we've just uh, downloaded. All right, so it's this one. I'm going to just select that. And it seems it's not finished yet. So it's this one. Let me just go ahead and uh, go back here. It's this one. Just want to be sure it's that one. So I'm going to load again. Come back here. Chrome. Yeah. And as you can see now, we have the extensions. We have the extension running, and I also have the plugin running. So this plugin is running on my computer, and the extension is running on my browser. All right. So if we go back here, we'll still not see anything happening because we still need to configure the uh, HTML that we want to print this one here. We need to implement the printing mechanism here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going just to copy whatever it's available here on this guide or on this documentation. And I'll go ahead here and just paste that in like that. Again, I'm going to go to that page here and as you can see now, we have this text here is what we intend to print. I'll again go back there. I'm going to get this code here. I'll go back to my code here and I'm going to have a section here of script. I'll paste that in. I'll save that. I'll go back to my browser here. And this page, and as you can see now, we have the printers being uh, listed here. So what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and bring in another window. Now I, I think you can see another uh, camera on my right side of my monitor. And we want to try to print uh, this uh, document here to our printer. All right. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and try to test that. And as you can see now, we've already printed what we had on the on this browser, and we've not got any any dialogue here to ask us where we want to print, which prints we want to use, because we already have the printers here, and we can just go ahead and print directly to that printer. All right, so that's how you can print directly to your printer. But what I want to do just now is to at least print uh, a, a larger content, a, large, a larger content of HTML. So I'm going to copy this. It's uh, pretty large. And that's what I'm going to put now into this uh, content to print section here. As you can see now there's a print uh, content to print section here. I'm going to just remove the default one that we have and I'm going to put that one that we copied. I'm going to save that, go back to the browser and as you can see now we have a pretty large uh, HTML content here to print. So let's go ahead and try that out as well. And as you can see now, we have that already been printed to our default printer. And uh, it's printing okay. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much very efficient. And it doesn't take time to print that, even if the content is too large. I'm going to print that again. And as you can see, 
we have it being printed out. So that's what we wanted to do for today. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'll see you in the next one where we'll be solving yet another problem. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.